he does! Oh my! That's funny! Am I missing something here? <laughs> You're all a bunch of inbred freaks! Don't try to deny it, because I've seen the sheriff, the coroner, and the hotel manager. The sheriff, coroner, and hotel manager are all distinct people and awesome in their own right! You should be thanking them for keeping the town running! <laughs> you guys are obsessed with this Chuck guy. Seriously, I haven't seen brainwashing like this since the Manson family. Don't you know it's disrespectful to speak of the dead that way? Especially the faultless Chuck Edmund! What's the deal with all these Tron machines? The Tron machines have saved our town countless times. There's no reason not to rely on them. Bunch of ingrates. Sounds like someone has to update their jokes. Now we have our final contestant, Corey. Wasn't Chuck the best human? Collect. Don't you think? Yes, Anne. Where's the punchline? Punchline? What are you talking about? Bloop, bloop, and bleep, bloop! It's beep for sake, not bloop. Don't be mean. What a lovely crowd we have tonight. I can't wait to meet all you wonderful special snowflakes. This is so unbelievable. Mm, this won't take long to decide the winner. In first place is obviously Corey. Oh my! Thank you. Corey wins a licensing deal with Mega Mega Toy Company. I'm going to make a cute fuzzy dog. But you can just walk into any toy store and buy that already. Second place is Corey. Of course it well is. Totally rigged. How can anyone compete with Corey? It's a pleasure to come second to his first. You've won a gift card for facial reconstruction surgery. How exciting! Just like my hero, Michael Jackson. Michael. Which leaves third and last place to... What was your name, anyway? Ransom. It's Ransom, you idiot! Oh, your name is Ransom, too? That's an odd coincidence. Pity your act wasn't very convincing. Ugh. Ugh. So third place goes to the poorly named Ransom. You win an easy listening theremin record by Psykin. Congratulations to those so. who put some effort in. They really want to tell them in sound wrong. It's a crappy recording of theremin Schalke music. Also. Big whoop. Die müssen wir dann bestimmt bei diesem Sender da. Also wir kommen da rein und können die Platz ja theoretisch austauschen. Das können wir machen, wenn wir die haben. Okay. Hm. Aber wir wollen jetzt Jubiläumwerk. Shut up in there! Robocop would beat Terminator in a fight! Shut up in there! No one will ever need more than 64k of memory! Is the Manson that's vielleicht egal? Was da rumkommt? Shut up in there! Everyone knows it's proven beyond all possible doubt that there are nine planets in the solar system. Shut up in there! Oder? Ich weiß nicht. Wir können ja mal hinfahren und probieren wir das nochmal. Die muss ja irgendwie aufbleiben. Da können wir die aufseppen? Geh doch. Nee, aufseppen können wir die nicht, ne? Tür, Lichtschalter, Stiegel. Ja, wir können da durchgehen, aber sonst. Seppe, Tür. Stöhnischer, Kübel, Klage, ne. Starships in bottles, handmade. 
How are you feeling now? Do you want another hamburger? Hamburger? How can you say that? Ah, oh, bad memories. I, uh, 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 I have to go to my room. Yeah, no. Go. Was passiert nicht in Echtzeit hier? Ne? Sounds like someone's being sick in there. I don't want to see that. Where did all the orange bits come from? I have not had a carrot in years. Stop! Stop the birds! Not again. Yeah, I have no idea. Oh, that's better. Now to get back to work. The elevator isn't on this floor. It's a button to call the elevator. Hier war doch auf irgendeiner. Achso, passiert, okay. Hier war doch auf irgendeiner äh, Etage war doch dieser Fernseher. Vielleicht kriegen wir die. Geht doch da rein. Vielleicht kriegen wir die da irgendwie raus. Ja, welcher war das? Das ist jetzt die große Frage, ne? Hell war es nicht. Ich will jetzt nicht alle Stockwerke durchgehen, das ist blöde. Da, da ist er. It's tuned to the rich and the soapy. A soap opera that follows a rich and powerful family who really likes baths. Ja, Company, was? thank goodness you're back. What's your favorite, you know, TV show again? Skiing for cash. I know I shouldn't watch it. Whenever I hear the theme music, I can't resist sneaking a peek on the guest TV. Bye and okay. good luck, Clara. Skill you know, yeah, the house. It's now showing hospital hijinks. I turned it off. Night, night, night. This channel is just static. I, I should find it's now showing I love my cat. You. It's now showing banana banana <laughs> bananas. <laughs> it's now showing skiing for cash. Company, thank goodness you're back. It's läuft gerade. Bye and good luck, Clara. Tür öffnen. Company, thank goodness you're back. What's your favorite, you know, TV show again? Skiing for cash. I know I shouldn't watch it. Whenever I hear the theme music, I can't resist sneaking a peek on the guest TV. Bye and good luck, Clara. It's tuned to Skiing for Cash, a game show where contestants must ski down a run covered in slime. It's läuft doch gerade. It's tuned to Skiing for Cash, a game show where contestants must ski down a run covered in slime. Ooh. 
Ooh. Company, thank goodness you're back. How do we, you know, get out of the hotel? Xavier has a secret chamber in the penthouse where he can cast a spell to travel beyond the hotel. I don't know how he does it. There was a special book from outside the hotel, and there was something else too, I think. What's your favorite, you know, TV show again? Skiing for Cash. I know I shouldn't watch it. Whenever I hear the theme music, I can't resist sneaking a peek on the guest TV. Bayern, good luck, Clara. Ich verstehe es nicht. Echt nicht. Das Was müssen wir denn noch machen? It's tuned to skiing for cash. A game show where contestants must ski down a run covered in slime. I can't pull that. I can't push that. I can't open that. I can't push that. It's tuned to skiing for cash. A game show where contestants must ski down a run covered in slime. What is that on the TV? Oh my, it's my favorite. Skiing for cash. Elevator duty can wait. Well, at least for a little now. Das gibt's doch nicht. Ach, wie blöd war das denn jetzt bitte? Na gut, jetzt kommen wir zumindest ins Penthouse, ne? Eine Errungenschaft. Who's that now? This is unbelievable. An alive human in my penthouse. Cleta's in so much trouble next time I see her. Hey, mein Junge. Staubkorn. Podium gibt's ja auch. Lichtschalter. Podium. Gibt's. Geheime Tür. Ja. Geheimer Lichtschalter. Ja, das ist ein geiler Lichtschalter. It looks like a book can be placed here. Okay, da muss ein Buch hin. Das hier nicht. Ich hab diesen Kristall hier gehabt. Ah, das ist ein Geisterkristall. Ne? Great view. I can see everything from here. Da muss ein Buch rein. Vielleicht hat die Uschi das hier. Madame Marina, kann das sein? Vielleicht hat die noch eine. Könnte sein. Wo sind die denn alle? Ja, das ist noch eine Nähe. Ich weiß es gerade nicht, war das hier außen? Nee, nee, passt nicht. Hier, wie ist das? Könnte sein. Nein, die Bushaltestelle ist nicht richtig. Dann ist die A Street. Und da ganz am Ende. Ja, wobei, die weiß doch gar nicht, was wir haben wollen. Wir wissen ja selbst nicht, was wir richtig haben wollen. The future is never written. Ja, wenn du das sagst. Welcome to the Thimbleweed Park and Cult Bookstore, ja. Dolores. The bubble fish has a banana. Ja, glaube ich. Das waren die richtig guten. It's good to see you again, Marina. 
Dolores, you little mojo bean. So pleased to see you back in town. If anyone has given you any trouble in the big city, you say the word, and I'll put a hex on them. I've got a really good one I'm dying to use that will turn their bathing suit parts green. What is it with you and those totally trippin' hexes? I like to get creative with my craft, dear. On an unrelated note, do you know anyone who deserves a permanent talking zit on their face? Oh, Marina. Enough with the curses already. Jeez. Although, if my sister keeps acting like a total bin bat, I might come back to you. I guess you heard about my uncle? Ah, oh, yes, dear. And I'm sorry for your loss. Are you, though? If you are sad, then I am sad for you, Dolores. Although I can't pretend that the idea of Chuck roasting in the fires of hell doesn't provide me with some amusement. That's like way harsh, Marina. But to be perfectly honest, I don't really know how to feel right now. People really loved my uncle, didn't they? It was a mixed bag, my dear. Most of the town adored Chuck, but there were many of us who despised the man and sensed the darkness within. What did you mean by the darkness my uncle had? Chuck exuded an aura of greatness, but that greatness was always balanced on a knife's edge of good and evil. The man was ruthless and fell into the dark a long time ago. I thought he wanted me to be happy, but really, he just wanted me to keep his legacy alive. I idolized my uncle. But if that's all I was to him, then I wonder if I ever really knew the man at all. How have things been since I left? Oh, same old, same old. Leonard ate all the donuts at the Quickie Pal. Ransom is still a jerk. Cryptozoologists are hunting the tentacle monsters. The usual. Oh, well, you're the one with the exciting new life as a game developer. Tell me all about it. Do you really want to hear about my job? Yes, absolutely. Okay, but you gotta keep this under your scarf. We're gonna be bringing out these radical new text adventure games, but plot twist, they're gonna have pictures instead of text. We're calling them clickers because you have to click on the picture instead of just typing. Totally fresh, right? That sounds very nice, dear. I already read about that on one of those CompuServe chat rooms. CompuServe. You were on a CompuServe chat room? Get a clue, dear. It's 1987. There's a whole new world of online hexing opening up, and there's no way I'm gonna miss out. That and the internet is great for monitoring my stock portfolio. I had no idea Voodoo was so high-tech these days. <laughs> Goodbye, Madam Marina. Come back anytime, Dolores. <laughs> I see we are all here now. Excellent. Before we can proceed with the reading of the will, Chuck Edmund has three stipulations. One, Thimbleberry Pie must be served to all present. Two, the reading of the will must take place in Chuck's opulent tomb. Three, crack the encryption on this will. Let me see that. Oh, it's all ones and zeros, Dolores. You figure it out. It is all ones and zeros. Clearly, it's in binary. Uncle Chuck was being clever. 